Hello everyone and welcome back to another Formic Tinkerer video. Today I'm going to talk about the Trans Vector Interface, I think it's called. Yeah, something like that. It's a new block in the latest update, 1.0.8 of uh, Formic Tinkerer. So what this block does is giving an item, or a block you place down in the world, more sides you can connect to it. So if you would have pipes on each side of this block and you wanted to connect more than six pipes, and normally you couldn't, but with this block you can. So what you need to do is right click with this binder, just like this, and shift right click on a chest like this. Now these blocks are bound to each other. So if I put down a wooden golem here, and throws cobblestone here, or this is stone, you'll see him pick it up, and it disappeared. It came into here. So it's a way you can move around items. And right now, it doesn't seem to be have any what should you say directional, because these all all of these columns are from different sides. So let's show you how I mean. So coal. Let's throw some coal on the ground here. He's from the side and it comes to the top. This guy over here is from the top and it comes in the same place. And this guy is from the bottom, same place. And here I tried with the block on different level, like under it, and it comes in the same place. But you should note that if you give it another item, it will fill it up where it can. Let's try it see if you can fill up the last place too. Yeah, it can even fill up this slot here. So I think he needs to work on this a little bit. You should also note that it can be used through walls and such. So if you have a building with warded stone and you want it safe, you can kind of teleport items through the wall into the chest like this. So if I give this guy some cobblestone, he will put it here. And you should note that the max range is three blocks, one, two, three. So you can also transport liquids and energy with them. But you should note that you can't move them any way you want. Like here. This is uh, binded to here and nothing happens. Same here, I'm trying to pump it out. You see here the pipe is connected but nothing is coming out. But it has water here but it's connected to the pipe on top. Nothing happens. And you should note here it's bound to this block here. It doesn't recognize it as it's uh, liquid. But it does it if it's connected right to this block. Tanks do work, but not like this. You need to pump the water out. So these are just bound to the tank here. Here I tried to with two blocks here, because normally you can't have a liquid duct pump in and pump out from the same block. So try that, didn't work, didn't even connect, and here I had it with a tank connection to the on top, and didn't work either. But here, I linked these tanks here to the block, so I did it the opposite way, and it works perfectly. So I can show you how I did that. I just placed down the block on top here and the tank two blocks up 
part, you can also have it closer. And then right click on the bound on the fat block and then shift right click here and you'll see it start fully filling up. Here with energy, I tried to fill this up in different ways and absolutely nothing happens. Here. And here. Can't no energy gets here. As you see. And these are bound together, of course. But the way you should do it is the opposite way. You should have this block connected to the engine. Then to and connect this block to the furnace. It doesn't seem to want to give uh, what are we called engines and pipes extra sides to connect on. Only blocks like uh, furnaces and things like that. So now it starts transferring power as you see. This also works with energy cells I think it, this is all I have to say about the trans vector interface. If you have any questions about this block and how to use it, leave a comment. If you like the video, like it. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching.